In this lesson, we're going to build on our previous uh, LED project by uh, adding a button so that when we press it, the LED turns on, and when we let go of the button, the LED turns off. First, however, I'd like to talk to you about uh, this proto board that I made. It's just a board, um, and I cut it out on the laser cutter, but you can, you can make it with anything. And here's the Arduino. I have it on standoffs, but you can... Um, you can put it directly on the board and it won't hurt anything. And I also have this breadboard, um, and I highly recommend you buy one. I'm going to flash up a, a URL where you could buy one here. But basically, this is a way of organizing uh, conductors so that, um, so that the, you don't have a huge mess of wires when you're working on a project. Basically, this board has a whole bunch of concealed conductors. The ones in the middle go like that. So, for instance, you know, this hole right here connects to this hole right there. Um, nothing crosses this center line, so you'd have to use a wire or a jumper to connect those two sides. Then these ones, these are called the power bus, that's the red one, and the ground bus, that's the blue one. Um, and, and there's also a ground bus and a power bus on the other side. And essentially, um, these are connected this way, um, which contrasts to this part here where the conductors are connected that way. And basically what you want to do is plug all of the things that require power into your power bus and then connect it to like the 5 volt on your Arduino. Um, and then the ground similarly plugs into a ground on the Arduino. And I'm going to be using this board pretty much this entire video series. All right, these are the parts that you need to do the project described in this lesson. Uh, an Arduino, a USB cable, uh, an LED, jumpers, a 10,000 ohm resistor, and a push button. I'm including some URLs here so you can buy your own, but um, anything resembling these are probably going to be fine. You don't have to have exactly these things to make this project work. First, however, I'd like to talk to you about uh, this proto board that I made. It's just a board, um, and I cut it out on the laser cutter, but you can you can make it with anything. And here's the Arduino. I have it on standoffs, but you can um, you can put it directly on the board, and it won't hurt anything. And I also have this breadboard, um, and I highly recommend you buy one. I'm going to flash up a, a URL where you could buy one here. But basically, this is a way of organizing uh, conductors so that um, so that the, you don't have a huge mess of wires when you're working on a project. Basically, this board has a whole bunch of concealed conductors. The ones in the middle go like that. So, for instance, you know this hole right here connects to this hole right there. Um, nothing crosses this center line, so you'd have to use a wire or jumper to connect those two sides. Then these ones, these are called the power bus, that's the red one, and the ground bus, that's the blue one. Um, and, and there's also a ground bus and a power bus on the other side. And essentially, um, these are connected this way, um, which contrasts to this part here where the conductors are connected that way. And basically what you want to do is plug all of the things that require power into your power bus and then connect it to like the 5 volt on your Arduino. Um, and then the ground similarly plugs into a ground on the Arduino. And I'm going to be using this board pretty much this entire video series, so uh, get used to seeing it. Okay, let's begin wiring up the board. Let's start with the button. As you can see, it has four prongs on it. Um, basically, uh, when you press the button, it closes two circuits, not just one. So you can have two things hooked up to this and have them both be activated with one press of the button. Uh, we're going to place it in the middle of the board um, with the uh, two of the conductors um, on this side and two on that side. All right, now let's, um, let's power it. So we're going to plug a jumper from 5V to the left lead 
closest to us. Now we're going to um, connect, co connect it to the, the Arduino, um, the digital 2 pin right here. Um, next we're going to grab our resistor. It should be brown, black, red, gold. Although, honestly, like it doesn't have to be precisely um, this uh, this ohm. It's uh, for reasons that are too complicated to go into now. It's it's kind of a nice thing to do, but it's not absolutely necessary. And we're going to um, have it go to ground, which is the blue one, the blue the blue strip bus uh, and then lastly we need to ground it so we're gonna go from here to this ground over here as I mentioned this whole these whole these bus strips right here um, are all conducted connected horizontally whereas these ones are vertical all right so we um, we should be good to go with the with the button. We just have to add the LED. Uh, and actually, I wasn't thinking. Usually, when you plug in the LED, like we did in the previous lesson, you plug in the ground right next to it. However, this ground is used, so I'm going to just move it down to this ground, which does the exact same thing. And then plug the Arduino in here. I mean, I'm sorry. Plug the LED right here into the Arduino. Cool. Now we're ready to uh, we're ready to um, upload the code. Okay. Now let's pull up the sketch. Go to File, Examples, Digital Button. This is one of the sketches that comes with the Arduino IDE, and I definitely suggest you look through them and see what all you can do. But this is a quick and easy one. So we have the sketch here. Let's quickly go over it. We have the um, the button pin, there's two, so we have our button connected to the to, to pin number two, and then the LED is plugged into 13. Um, the button state is zero, it defaults at, at zero. Um, and then we have the LED pin uh, as output, and the button pin as input. And then in our loop, we say, um, read the button pin to find out what button state is. And if button state is high, which means it's on, we, um, we tell the LED to turn on. But if it's not, then we tell the, if it's, um, it, then we tell the LED to turn off. All right, let's upload it. Okay, so let's test it. Oh yeah, check it out. Okay, the only thing that I have to clarify is I misspoke and the 10K resistor is brown, black, orange gold, not brown, black, red gold. Um, I'll explain more in a future lesson about what all those colors mean, but um, the 10K is what you need to make this work. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, I look forward to the next lesson. In our next lesson, we're going to build on our LED project by um, giving you analog control over the LED. Um, this lets you change the brightness based on input from an analog sensor. In this case, we're going to use a potentiometer, which is kind of like a dimmer knob, um, and also a light sensor. So, see you then.